Hi, everybody. Late night here at KPRC Channel 2. Randy McAvoy, Adam Wexler with you. It is about 12.20 a.m. Yeah, it is late here on a th early Thursday morning, technically. Uh, the playoff schedule is out. Let's get to it, uh, Wex. We know they're going to play the Golden State Warriors. A best of seven. It all starts on Saturday. It's going to be a Saturday-Monday start in Oakland. But it's out. It's laid out. Rockets get two home games. Do they have any shot? at competing in this series? That's going to be the big question. A lot of different ways you can look at this, and most of them aren't particularly good. They did set the all-time record. They got that 73rd win on the final night of the regular season, wrapped that up a little while ago, while Kobe was scoring 60 he in LA. He went nuts tonight. That which was fun pretty sweet, yeah, pretty fun. Uh, they lost nine games this year. So in order to knock them out of the playoffs, you got to beat them four times in seven games. Rockets played them three times this year, didn't win any of those games. One of those games was close in Houston, no Steph Curry in that game. Yeah, that is true. I was going to say game two, it was like a 114 to 110 loss, mm -hmm. but that, that is the important factor, no Curry. But it's playoff time now. Nobody, and we heard some of the reaction coming in, Wex, from you out there at Toyota mm -hmm. Center tonight. Uh, specifically, I believe it was Pat Beverly saying, listen, nobody expected us to be here. We're going in. When you look at this series, of course, the odds are stacked against them. But when you're looking at a team, can the Rockets compete in this series? Maybe still one, maybe two. Is the pressure all on Golden State right now? Of course it is. Uh, they won 73 games. They're supposed to win the NBA title. They're supposed to repeat. And clearly they're supposed to take care of a team that only won 41 times this year and didn't beat them yeah. at all, only beat them once in last year's series. Now, again, there's so many different ways to look at it. The Rockets were much better last year, right? And they still only beat Golden State once in the series. But they didn't have Demo. They didn't have Pat Beverly. There were certain things that uh, they didn't have going for them last season, especially where you needed it most. Someone at least to... To, to defend, to be a threat offensively at the point guard spot. And clearly the, the uh, power forward position is no less settled for this team this year with Beasley in and out of the rotation and Demo being traded and then coming back. So <laughs> don't, don't hear what I'm saying and think, oh, well, the Rockets are better because they have those two guys back. Mm -hmm. They never put it together for an entire 82 games. These last three games, understandably so, their offense clicked. They won their way into the playoffs after they got the help they needed. But Look at who they played. Look at what they were up against. Minnesota was the only team playing even kind of okay, and they annihilated them. But those yep. were three non-playoff teams. And the game before that, they lost to a non-playoff team in Phoenix. If everything goes spectacularly well for the Rockets, it would still be a battle to beat the Warriors once or twice. We did a tell the tape uh, at 10 o'clock before, of course, the schedule came out. Just comparisons you mentioned, 0-3 on the season. Uh, points per game, uh, the Warriors outscored the Rockets 116-104 to 104 on average. And J.B. Bickerstaff talked about it tonight. This is going to be – this is not a slow pace kind of style. It's going to be an up and down. You know, you, you're going to get the ball. They're going to shoot shoot the ball quickly like they always do. That's the Golden State Warriors' uh, uh, way to do business on the basketball floor. Rockets are going to have to find a way to kick it out. They're going to play some defense. At least try to contain these guys. You're not going to, be able to slow them down. Yeah, that would be nice. I mean, just teams, a little bit. Yeah, That's all we're like asking Phoenix for. Phoenix and and other teams all throughout the year, bad offensive teams. Yeah, we're getting season highs against the Rockets. And what I asked JB about after the game was, mm -hmm. you know, this is a team that goes on runs. The Rockets have played them well at times, just not well for the full 48. And as he said, you make one mistake and it turns into a three. Then when you make another one, it's another three, and you've gone from a four point deficit to a ten point deficit. Right. That's what the Warriors do. They did it to the Rockets last year. You look at the those first two games in the final Western Conference Finals last year, the Rockets were right there to take either or both. They got neither, came home, got run out of the building, then came back and blew out the Warriors, and then the series ended. <laughs> I think there's one of those games in there where the Rockets play their best. They really have a chance to win. But in these series, any game the Rockets have a chance to win, they have to win. The Warriors are going to have a chance to win all seven games, however many there right. are. The Rockets might not have a chance to win each game. They're going to get blown out potentially, but the games that are it's close, late, if they don't win those, that's what's going to be disheartening. Yeah, they, they need Curry to be just a little bit off if that's possible in this series. It's happened. And, and Clay Thompson and some of these other guys as well to, to have a break. They've got to play defense. Be awfully nice to steal one there in Oakland. So, again, we're going to wrap it up. More coverage coming up. Uh, the Rockets are going to watch film on Thursday. And as of now, no media availability. So we got yeah. a lot of interviews Film from the game Thursday. tonight. They played Golden State three times this year. Yeah. It was the last team they saw in the playoffs right. last year. They know what they're going to do. I'll, I'll say one thing. If the Rockets okay. upset the Warriors because of what the Warriors did this year, it will arguably be the greatest upset in pro sports oh, history. Oh, no doubt series. about it. No, Nobody's giving them a chance. And that's the fun part about mm -hmm. it going in. Uh, Rockets film session Thursday. 
and they might be flying out uh, likely now. They are. They're, they're playing Saturday. Saturday. They're going to fly out at some point on Friday. We don't know if there's going to be availability yet. We'll know more from the team. But we'll have it covered for you here and in Oakland. We'll have all the workouts covered as well and, of course, the games and uh, get all the interviews and coverage for you right here on KPRC Channel 2. So Rockets playoff bound, first round, eighth seed against the number one seed, Golden State Warriors. Wex is smiling. I don't know if that means. the greatest team in regular season history. There that's you go. That's, that's who they're going to I don't to know play. if you're about to predict an upset or not. So anyway, we'll find out. Keep it right here for all the coverage for the Rockets playoff run against the Golden State Warriors. For Wex, I'm Randy. We'll see you next time.